Hello guys, so welcome all of you to today's PYQ Shorts and let's begin with today's question. Guys, a patient was started on dialysis and he developed disequilibrium. Which of the following drugs should be started? Look at the options. Option A, ethacarinic acid. Option B, mannitol. Option C, biomtenide. And option C, neseritide. So what is the answer, guys? Pause the video. Let me know the answer in the comment box. Then we shall discuss. Right. Now coming back to the question, guys. Here, your answer is option B, mannitol. Right. First of all, what is dialysis disequilibrium syndrome? See, whenever we do dialysis, dialysis removes a lot of things from your body. It can remove toxins, it can remove drugs, it can remove uric acid as well. And see, when I remove too much of uric acid <clears throat> from your plasma, you know, uric acid is osmotic in nature. So if I remove too much of uric acid from plasma, your osmotic pressure in plasma can decrease. And that would that would move move the plasma uh, from your systemic circulation into the cells and the cells that i'm worried about here are the cells of the brain so if the plasma will flood cells cells of brain you'll have cerebral edema and symptoms of cerebral edema that is called as dialysis disequilibrium and what is the preferred drug for that your answer is manitol so before i move ahead let us discuss few other pyqs with manitol pyq number one most simplest one which has been asked which is an osmotic diuretic your answer is manitol pyk number two what is the drug of choice for cerebral edema cerebral edema your answer is manitol pyq number three what is the drug of choice for acute congestive glaucoma again your answer is manitol pyq number four which of the following diuretic can cause pulmonary edema again your answer is manitol so it's a paradoxical diuretic it is used for treatment of cerebral edema but it does cause pulmonary edema. So these are four PYQs which are asked with Minitol. Now see, uses of Minitol. To remember, I'll tell you a technique. Remember as A, B, C, D, E, right? A, A for acute congestive glaucoma. B, for breaking of diuretics, means when there is diuretic resistance. C, congest, uh, cerebral edema, right? D, is dialysis disequilibrium. E, is expected renal failure. Expected renal failure is impending renal failure where renal failure has not yet developed, but it might develop. So remember, if renal failure has already developed, I'll never use Minitol. But if it is expected to prevent renal failure, to increase GFR, I can use Minitol. So A, B, C, D, E, right? Now coming to other options, what are the PYQs related to other options? Option A, ethacrinic acid. See, most of the MCQs which are asked uh, with respect to the mineralocorticoid antagonist, it is mostly about spironolactone. So it is either spironolactone or ethacrinic acid. What they ask you, what is the drug of choice for cirrhotic edema? So whenever there are symptoms of liver cirrhosis and there is edema, your answer is a mineral corticoid antagonist like ethacrinic acid or spironolactone. Number one. Number two, what is the drug of choice for resistant hypertension? Again, your answer is uh, spironolactone, which is aldosterone antagonist. Uh, PYQ number three, which of the following drug can cause gynecomasia? Again, your answer is spironolactone. PYQ number four, which of the following drug can cause hyperkalemia? Recently, they had given you an ECG. Uh, the ECG was representative of the finding of hyperkalemia that asked you which drug could have caused it. Again, your answer was spironolactone. So these are uh, some of the PYQs which are asked with respect to spironolactone or ethagranic acid. Option C, biomtenide. So biomtenide is never asked, but uh, you know it, it belongs to a class called as loop diuretics. And there we have a, a loop diuretic which is commonly asked called as furosemide or lasix. So what are the PYQs with respect to furosemide or lasix? Number one, what is the drug of choice for treatment of pulmonary edema? Your answer is furosemide. So remember, Treatment of pulmonary edema, I use furosemide, but the diuretic that causes pulmonary edema is Manitol, right? So drug of choice for treatment of pulmonary edema, it is furosemide. Uh, second, with loop diuretics, they do ask you if the GFR is less than 40, severely low GFR, which are the best diuretic? Again, your answer is furosemide. But remember, if they ask you which is the thiazide of choice, if GFR is less than 40, then your answer is metolesone. Both are different things. Best diuretic when GFR is less than 40, furosemide. But if GFR is less than 40, the best diuretic uh, in thiazides or the antihypertensive of choice among thiazides is metolazone, right? That's all. Option D, neseritide. See, guys, what are the MCQs they have asked, the PYQs with uh, respect to neseritide? One, which of the following is a BNP analog, neseritide? Uh, what is the route of administration of neseritide? It is IV because it is tied, peptide, you know, these are large structures, they cannot be given the oral route. And PYQ number three, 
is which enzyme metabolizes nesseritide and your answer is neutral endopeptidase so remember n for nesseritide and for neutral endopeptidase so guys these are the pyq short for today tomorrow i'll be back with another pyq short till then take care bye bye love you all.